Hello again, friends. Carlos Scarpero here, VA Mortgage Specialist with Epic Lending and Military Mortgage Bootcamp. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about appraisals and how you can appeal an appraisal on a VA mortgage. A lot of people don't realize that VA mortgage loans, when the home is appraised, you can actually appeal that appraisal if the value comes in a little low. And before I do that, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel with the subscribe button or Click on this video, share this video. It's very important that all veterans know this information. So how does that process work with appealing and appraisal? Uh, this is a process a lot of loan officers don't know. Luckily, since I am a VA mortgage specialist, I'm aware of how to do this process. I've done this process a few times. So the first step is you need to talk to an appraiser. You need to get an appraisal ordered. Um, and the appraiser is going to let you know if the appraisal is coming in short. Uh, they're required actually during that process. So what, what's going to happen is, say they go out, they do the appraisal, they don't think they can make the value. Um, it'll go, and what will happen is before they actually submit that appraisal to the loan officer and uh, the realtor, they're going to send what's called a notice of tidewater. And the notice of tidewater basically says that they've looked around and they can't figure out how to make the value um, work with the value on the purchase contract. Um, so say. Uh, purchase contract 175 and for whatever reason they can't find um, comparable homes that meet that valuation uh, that make them feel it's worth 175 uh, then what they'll do is they'll they'll send a tie water request and what a tie water request is is they will request the realtor to um, mail email them three comparable properties that are in that area they should use as comps and then the realtor goes and they'll, they'll usually actually send that to me and then I send that to the appraiser um, and that, then they use that as a starting point for um, that appealed appraisal. So sometimes the tidewater works and there's nothing else need to be done and then you're good to go, they, then we're ready to roll. Um, oftentimes though, it'll still come in low. So what happens in that situation? Well, luckily there is another step and that's called reconsideration of value. Now keep this in mind that a lot of loan officers don't understand how to do reconsideration of value. Um, it's not a very well-known program, and which is really unfortunate because it's a very beneficial program. Luckily, I know how to do it because I'm a VA mortgage specialist. So the first step I do is reach out to the VA, tell them we are doing a reconsideration of value, um, and then I get reconsideration of value paperwork. Then what I do is I send that paperwork to the realtor and they fill it out and then I email that to the VA. A few things to keep in mind when doing a reconsideration of value. Um, the first one being that um, right now under current guidelines, um, there's only a 7% increase that can be done. So, so say you're trying to get 175 out of the house and the difference between the purchase price and whatever it pays for is less than 7% then potentially could get up to that 175 purchase price. But what if it 10% or 15% difference, then what do you do? Well, then there's that cap of 175 um, uh, or the cap of 7% above where it originally appraised. So it might not still, even with the reconsideration of value, go to that amount. Um, second thing to keep in mind is only for purchases, refinances, you cannot do a reconsideration of value. So keep that in mind as well. So there are two different kinds of reconsideration of value. Uh, the first kind is using what's called comparables. Um, so what a comparable is, is the realtor goes and they find comparable homes, I think, justify the valuation, they email that to me and then I put that in the report. And that, just like with a the water, they will find some comparable homes and we stick that in the report and see if that makes it work. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The second kind is where we are appealing, appealing the adjustments. So for example, maybe the one I had, the comparables were a year old and the realtor was able to say, well, you know, this, this area has gone up 10% over the past year because they're using year old comparables. It's a very tight market right now. They're using year old comparables and the realtor saying, well, you only adjusted this by 5% when you should have adjusted it by 10%. Here's the proof. You know, we had five offers on this house. They came in at this value. Um, it, these other houses in this other neighborhood, you know, as you can see, it sold for this number last year. It's this much higher this year. Um, so you should have adjusted by this amount instead of that other amount. Uh, 
And so that is one way you can do it. Um, you need to get paperwork, you need to get justification. The more the merrier, the more paperwork you can submit. That makes sense. It's actually, if you're a consumer, actually the realtor does all this work for you. So, so you mean the realtor. If you're a realtor watching this, then that's what I mean. Um, consumers, you just sit back and wait and hope. So what if that appraisal still comes in low? So what if you go through that entire process and that appraisal still comes in low after all that? Um, then it becomes negotiable. So the seller could lower the price down to what it appraised for and still get it at zero down. Um, the other option is you can pay the difference. So say it's a $150,000 house and it appraised at 140 dollars after everything's said and done. Um, you can bring that extra 10 grand closing or the seller can um, lower that purchase price with an amended agreement to do that as well. And actually what I've seen is a little combination of both. I've seen where they will lower the purchase price and also adjust the appraisal uh, or adjust, you know, lower the purchase price and adjust that down payment to kind of a negotiated area in between uh, to make that work. So that is how you appeal an appraisal. Again, my name is Carlos Gaffer. I'm a VA mortgage specialist here in the Dayton, Ohio area. I am licensed in Ohio and Kentucky. Um, if you're in those areas, I'd love to talk to you about your VA mortgage needs. Um, if you're outside of those areas, uh, feel free to reach out to me as well. I'm uh, connected to loan officers all around the country. You can reach me at scarpero.com or 937-572-3713. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.